Hey everyone. So I'm currently assembling a bunch of Tiny C6 boards. As you can see, there's one coming out of the oven just now. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to record some footage from my pick and place machine running with the new camera setup that I put in. So I've got a AI Theta camera from um, Ubiquity, which was in the machine, or well, still is in the machine. And I did have it originally mounted over in here, looking this way, looking this way towards the machine, because that was the safest place to put it. As you can see, there's plenty of empty space in here. It was easy to route the camera through. The problem is all the action happens down here. <laughs> um, that's where the boards come in. That's where they get assembled. And the majority of the uh, 0402 components being placed on the board is in within this region. I mean, it's, it's everywhere and all on the back, all the parts are grabbed, you know, depending on the board, but it spends a lot of time down this end here. And so I've been racking my brains trying to work out what to do. In the end, I just caved and uh, hopefully no one at Duke is watching, but um, I managed to get the camera in here and it's a bit hard to see. And I've done a really complicated routing of the cable inside probably through some places I shouldn't, all the way through to the box that the network cable plugs into. And it, at the same time, I also bought one of the external microphone things that plug into the same box. So that's a, a microphone for, I can't point at it, I can't get my hand in. This is the microphone there for the AI Theta camera. So I can now get sound as well from here. And this is just a 3D printed bracket that sits there that holds the camera in place and um yeah <laughs> i mean there's a big whopping servo there a lot of action happens around here but i got it all in and i got it stable and so i've recorded a panel being made the first panel on this run i recorded and so i thought i would put it in video and show you it it's i've got it the kind of the best compression i can get or lack of compression in the video it's not perfect, it's only 30 frames a second, um, so it's not silky smooth, but it's pretty good. There's a, a lot of shiny surfaces moving around. Obviously the pick and place, the, the main head, and it's just, just lots of um, spe specular light and reflections happening, which means there's a lot of stuff changing in the image all the time. So, you know, getting a really good level of compression and stuff and still being able to record at a good bit rate was, um, it was a challenge, especially because it's going through an RTPS system. I'm not like, the camera's not plugged into my computer, it's plugged into my network via PoE, which is then being captured by uh, the Unify Protect software, which then publishes an RTPS stream, which I then connect to through OBS and record. So it's being triple handled the whole way through. But it still looks pretty cool. So anyway, uh, without any further ado, I will run the, the footage. You'll see uh, the whole process unsped up. It's running at 100% speed. Um, I did have the volume capture too loud for a while, so you'll hear it get a little bit softer about two thirds of the way through. Sorry, I didn't notice it was clipping. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you a look at what the board looks like after it came out, before it goes in the oven. Cheers.